So, I've been accused of slander many times recently. Given these are accusations of crimes, I figured it'd give me ample opportunity to prove I'm not a crook, and to also equip you with the tools necessary to push back against similar accusations should they come to you. Similarly to my, so what's doxing anyway, vid, it's in direct response to being falsely accused of these crimes, so I'll be including the context surrounding the accusations, and suffice it to say, this glove doesn't fit. So let's throw down the gauntlet. But mostly, if you come at me, you better come with proof. And if you have none, you'd do better to shut the fuck up. Yet these slimy leeches want the same recognition as those with real points and arguments, with none of the work, and as a result, we're to the point where I had to make an entire video on the subject, because in order to try and take me down, they had to scrape the barrel bottom to the wood, and find the least scrupulous, least reasonable people there to do it. And let's be clear here, these people are absolutely worthless, and incredibly stupid, which is why they fell into the trap into which they accused me of intentionally doing. They're too stupid to know the actual legal definition of slander, and know that's exactly what they're doing to me. So first, I'll start with the actual legal definition of slander, as it appears in the People's Law Dictionary by Gerald and Kathleen Hill, and found on law.com today. Let's hit it. Slander is noun, oral defamation, in which someone tells one or more persons an untruth about another, which untruth will harm the reputation of the person defamed. Slander is a civil wrong, tort, and can be the basis for a lawsuit. Damages, payoff or worth, for slander may be limited to actual special damages unless there is malicious intent since such damages are usually difficult to specify and harder to prove. Some statements, such as an untrue accusation of having committed a crime, having a loathsome disease, or being unable to perform one's occupation, are treated as slander per se, since the harm and malice are obvious, and therefore usually result in general and even punitive damage recovery by the person harmed. Words spoken over the air on television or radio are treated as libel, written defamation, and not slander, on the theory that broadcasting reaches a large audience as much as, if not more than, printed publications. And what's libel? From the same source, noun, to publish in print, including pictures, writing, or broadcast through radio, television, or film, an untruth about another, which will do harm to that person or his or her reputation, by tending to bring scorn or contempt of others. Libel is the written or broadcast form of defamation, distinguished from slander, which is oral defamation. It is a tort, civil wrong, making the person or entity, like a newspaper, magazine, or political organization, open to a lawsuit for damages by the person who can prove the statement about him or her was a lie. Publication need only be to one person, but it must be a statement which claims to be fact and is not clearly identified as an opinion. While it is sometimes said that the person making the libelous statement must have been intentional and malicious, actually, it need only be obvious that the statement would do harm and is untrue. Proof of malice, however, does allow a party to fame to sue for general damages, for damage to reputation, while an inadvertent libel limits the damages to actual harm, such as loss of business, called special damage. Libel, per se, involves statements so vicious that malice is assumed and does not require a proof of intent to get an award of general damages. Libel against the reputation of a person who has died will allow surviving members of the family to bring an action for damages. Most states provide for a party defamed by a periodical to demand a published retraction. If the correction is made, then there is no right to file a lawsuit. Governmental bodies are supposedly immune to actions for libel on the basis that there could be no intent by a non-personal entity and further, public records are exempt from claims of libel. However, there is at least one known case in which there was a financial settlement as well as a published correction 
when a state government newsletter incorrectly stated that a dentist had been disciplined for illegal conduct. The rules covering libel against a public figure, particularly a political or governmental person, are also special based on U.S. Supreme Court decisions. The key is that to uphold the right to express opinions or fair comment on public figures, the libel must be malicious to constitute grounds for lawsuit for damages. Minor errors in reporting are not libel, such as saying Mrs. Jones was 55 when she was only 48, or getting an address or title incorrect. And uh, the second part of the definition is the verb, to broadcast or publish a written defamatory statement, i.e. he libeled me. So, I proved every single one of my claims correct, and given the fact that my claims were directly counter to claims made against me, which had not been proven, um, that was already disproven. I already have not committed slander libel, or any other sort of intentional defamatory modus of communication. I acted in good faith with the information I had, and released it to the public, and defended myself repeatedly from lies. That's all I did. That's it. There's literally nothing legally wrong with that, and accusing me of committing this crime, if not proven, and if therefore proven untrue, uh, and, you know the whole innocent until proven guilty thing, uh, if proven to be done with malicious intent, there is zero way that this could not be considered libel right now. They're libeling me. They have not issued a retraction. They have not issued uh, a public apology. They, uh, they, they don't discuss how I was correct at all because it goes counter to their entire narrative of this came out of nowhere, and he's an evil person. So there you have it. The claim must be an untruth, and the untruth will have negative impact on a reputation. This is interesting in this context, because I now have video evidence of the accuser in question, the one spreading the lies against me most aggressively, that I actively debunked in my video nobody can disprove, admitting that they had no proof of any of it and were simply spreading what they heard was true with no proof given. That's right, the dumb fuck libertarian Sith going by Chaser on Twitter went on another dumb fuck's channel who wasn't involved to side with the now-admitted pedophile Riley and their simping best friend Gabby to admit to a crime. One which I would sue them over were I statist, but I'm not feel free to financially support me on Patreon. So, what is my recourse? Well, you find people watching this video, of course. So, watch, viewer, and let yourself think, as one with sense, about the following confession to slander and libel. But yeah, I'm Chaser the Libertarian Sith. Um, um, I am friends with, um, uh, with um, Riley and Gabby. Uh, so, what I'm going to be asking first is... Yeah. Um, so can you explain exactly the controversy to start? What all happened? I guess the best would be to explain um, how all this um, started or started up again. Because my story actually begins before I met um, uh, Riley or any of um, that. And that, you know, I um, entered into the general libertarian and ANCAP community and um, was in there for a while. And then from there I heard of a... Um, man named Jeremiah Harding and how he had mm -hmm. um, antagonized um, multiple certain people. Mm -hmm. And then one of my other friends, um, Volnos, had decided to um, uh, mess around with him quite a bit and actually got his um, Twitter suspended. And he was complaining about that. His suspension didn't last very long, though. It was more of a, a minor inconvenience. And he was rattling that. And I was like, Volnos is going after him. I want in on this. And so I, you know... Uh, went over, um, uh, did several um, post threads, you know, antagonizing him, and what um, and whatnot, as well as you know some of his other people. I was also criticizing Jeremiah Harding as just being a bad person about all the um, mm -hmm. sort of um, people that he was antagonizing, as well as also his followers as well. Mm -hmm. So that kind of is something to. Um, um, and I would stand by, especially now, you know, that criticism of um, Jeremiah Harding. 
And so it went on a while. I accused, um, uh, and I should get down to it. I accused Jeremiah of doxing, of um, driving someone to suicide, and of accusing um, Gavi of being a um, pedo. No, I will now have to ask I guess the one I should start have... off. With, wait, I should, I should Go start on. off with the what about the accusation of him drawing, driving someone to suicide. That is something I heard in naysay, and isn't something that I can actually prove, and probably isn't actually something that I should accuse him of. I should, should have accused him of, since it was only some going off of somebody else's word that I'm he had sorry, done so that. You, are you saying you so should have or should that the not person, have accused him of that? I should have not accused him of that because. I was simply going off of somebody else's word. So do you... And maybe uh, at the time, I may have... Um, so, however, whenever it comes to the accusations of um, doxing, I actually know somebody that was and um, that was um, doxed and harassed by him. And surprisingly enough, I was not talking about Riley when I said that. It was somebody else that I had met on Discord who Well, if we can was, go back and I, to for their Well, for their, for their sake, I won't name who it was, though. But um, but yeah, they were somebody who had an antagonist, who was um antagonized by Jeremiah Harding. And okay, all that. So if we could though go back to the uh, uh, supposed uh, suicide uh, um, push, you said mm -hmm. uh, so basically you do not believe that he pushed anyone to suicide. Now, correct? Um, or do I wouldn't say that, that I there's don't any hard it. evidence to say that. I would just simply say that there's uh, that I specifically do not have hard evidence, and it's possible that it was completely fabricated. So would you? That is what I would say. It, I would. It, I will say that I would not put it past him um, okay. to have done that. But um, I will say that I cannot prove that he did that. That is what I will say. But let's just say if it is false, and that is something that is an accusation I shouldn't have made. Accusation. Okay, I accuse. I have. I um, criticize him of. I I apologize for criticizing him for something that I do not know for certain if he did. Okay, just wanted to see of that clarification. All right, and um, now yeah. for the doxing, um, is there evidence to show that this person was doxed? Like, uh, what information exactly was given out? Well, I know. Well, there was somebody who told me that they were um, doxxed by him, mm -hmm. and that it was by using an alter uh, alternate accounts and whatnot. Do they? So I guess I don't have actually any proof on hand of it happening. So mm -hmm. it's somebody though that I just know that was doxxed. Do by him. they have the proof on hand themselves? Like, I mean, I would assume that they thing? would, but they were, you know, trying to lie low after that happened. Okay. Just wanted to mm -hmm. maybe clear. yeah I, I would assume that they would have that okay and I'm not going to say who it is because they wanting to lie I, I fair fair happens. fair point I will not push you to tell me who it is all right and um, any other accusations that you have put on him other than doxing and that or any other beliefs that you believe and there's made? also um, go on. Uh, and his also other thing is, you know, accusing people of being, you know, pedos, which, you know, we're in the, uh, you know, this is what this whole thing is about, you know. Mm -hmm. And so after a while, Harding kind of got a bit annoyed and kind of, oh, what got him was the accusation of doxing. He assumed I was talking about Riley, even though um, I didn't. And then he went, you know, to go um, there and then did his video. Now, where Riley actually comes in is um, sometime before that. I was aware of that there was this general person um, who is goes by the name of Bunny, but I didn't. Um, uh, I was aware of that general um, person and um, all that, but I didn't know who it was and all that. And I mm -hmm. heard that they had left the um, internet or s in some like that, and I had seen their first soda and mm -hmm. whatnot. And then, um, uh, and then I had met Riley on another um, server, and at first. Um, I didn't draw the um, connection that these two were the um, same person until I saw one of their um, social media, you know, uh, social media um, sites. I'm not going to say um, which one. And then, you know, I kind of confronted them about some of the things that um, Harding was accusing of um, the accusation. Riley of. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they, uh, well, I guess they can tell you in the stream what they, you know, told me. You see, slander isn't just something I don't like being said. It's something untrue being said. 
What Chaser said was untrue. It's slander. What I said was simply something they didn't like. And the real icing on the cake is the admission that I had actively been censored in a campaign initiated by Volnost, which confirms literally the whole context of my video was not only appropriate but necessary to full explanation. Chaser and his cohorts were both lying and spreading lies about me because their stupid fucking censorship campaign didn't work and because my 11-year-old Twitter account was still here. Here making problems for lying little scumbags like Chaser lying to protect his stupid little clique from any amount of criticism, like being best friends of a pro-contact pedophile trying to normalize adults fucking middle schoolers in a server with members bearing an age of attraction of that and below, abusing anarchist and libertarian principles to do so. It's amazing. I'm being accused of slander by actual slanderers, using slander to try and destroy that with which they cannot contend. The video Irrational Law Cook has up is evidence of a crime having been committed against me. And these retards are too stupid to see they just admitted to criminal behavior in defense of pedophilia. Again, it's pretty funny that these people get to call anyone else degenerate, and even more hilarious, that they call people lolbers when they're literally the living definition and fucking embodiment of the But what if the child consents though? But that's not all. And because they decided to milk this for views, I'm gonna do it too. Next video, I'll go over how Riley lied about turning things around so he could further lie about not being a pedophile and act like some bullshit hero martyr over this. Nice. So what you're talking about is getting rid of all age of consent laws and what having local municipalities decide when their children are old enough to fuck each other? Or more realistically, fuck you being that you're the one who's arguing for this? Like, fuck me, like, more or less, yeah. Like, with the municipality. Okay, so you're admitting right now you want to fuck a child and you want your municipality to say that you're okay, that it's okay. Uh, personally, like I've said in the last stream, I'd rather the child fuck me, but that's beside the point. So keep an eye out for more videos on this subject, because what I have for you is enough evidence to prove that these people neither need nor care for proof or truth. It's all lies all the way down and I'm used to the heat. See you in hell.